So I'm gonna bring you guys along with me while I like update my palette for the winter. Well, not for the winter, from the winter to the summer. <laughs> so I've got these little like, well, let's, let me show you what I've been using. So I've been using this Art Toolkits palette, which I've loved, I've loved using it. I think it's worked out really well. You can kind of see where like, let me hold it up. Some of the, you can see like the white, the yellow, you can see where things have been used up. I think the only real thing about this is that the, um, like when I'm out painting, I just don't have enough workspace on this palette. And I don't have, I, honestly, just like, I just need more like mixing area and I need more um, color. I need more color because it's turning to spring here in California. And I feel like I'm not getting the intensity of the color that I could be getting because I'm working with my fall palette. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna change. I think that's what that's what I need to change or update or whatever. So um, that's one thing that I'm gonna do right now. The other thing I wanted to do is show you some of the sketches that I did while I was in the hospital. And it was really interesting because so you're in the hospital, so you have all this time to think. So I was like, oh, I can figure out what has been throwing me off about making landscapes. And that, so that's kind of what I did. So I kind of um, just worked on dismantling the images that I have in my head around landscape. There we go. I have, <laughs> so um, just started to kind of pull together some like ideas about composition, but not just composition. I started thinking a lot about the directionality of the, the actual mark. And for example, like a tree is very much this mark. And then the, um, the background or the, you know, what happens in the behind the tree is very much like a side to side mark and just kind of pulling together those thoughts. Um, and then in the hospital, I actually completed this one, which I thought was really successful, but completing this one um, came out of working through like this kind of moment of what happens and uh, you know, what happens between the little trees? Like what are the breaks? What I really like about this is that are these little like areas where the trees kind of break in between and um, offer up a little bit more sunshine, a little bit more light. So <laughs> I felt really enthusiastic coming out of the hospital and having gone through this like exercise while I was there. Let's see, is there anything else here? No. <laughs> I will show you this other one because it's funny. So also in the hospital, I was drawing, doing these drawings of my friend Veronica. She's very like, Veronica is very easy to like have as a muse because she's game for anything. Um, <laughs> as, as a matter of fact, I'm, I actually going to work with her tomorrow to pose so she can pose for my next painting, uh, which I have a silly, silly, silly concept for. So I'm, I'm so excited about it because it's going to be hilarious anyway. But she um, she did this like, you know, where you go like. <laughs> so this is her with her head all like scrunched in. And I loved it. And it was so funny because I left it on the table, um, you know, just on that table thing that, that rolls around. And the nurse came in and she was like, you did that? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> She's like, it's so good. I was just laughing because it was, you know, not because we had the compliment, but just because it was just, it was just very funny. Um, so I can't wait for that. The other thing, actually, this is the concept drawing for my next painting. <laughs> so get ready for that. But I, I loved, I also have been in love with this kind of non-organic shape um, of the crane. I just love it. So I can't wait to get started on the next painting and also use some of those elements in there. I'm going to show you this in a minute. And then from there, I got more. This These sketchbooks are just... I just love them. They're just the best. Um, I got more. I got the small, medium, and large. This is the super large one. Um, forgot the name of it, of course, but I'll put the name name below. But this one, this was a drawing that I did. There we go. This was a drawing that I did at the park, like 210, got in there, 
got this kind of all mapped out, you know, and I was really excited about it because it was my first kind of outing after being, you know, bedridden for a while, like a week, <laughs> you know, but I was really ha happy to get out there and get this done and just get this, get this out of me, you know, um, I don't know. I love it. I'm just excited about it. <laughs> and then this one I did yesterday and it is, it's honestly just a pencil sketch that I just, I loved it. I love doing it. I kind of, I, I proceeded after this to lose the drawing. Um, so you can see like the next one gets kind of messy. <laughs> it's like, whoa, okay, what are we doing? And then after that, after this one, I did this as a finisher to the day. And it's not bad. There's nothing bad about it. I just, I, I have this feeling though, I just need more out of it. A couple of problems happened um, using this palette. And it was honestly just, I, I kind of needed more mixing space. Like, like my, my colors got muddy and I didn't feel like I could get something kind of more precise. Um, plus my hands got really, really, really cold. So I just kind of was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, so, I just, so, so it was cute. It's a cute drawing. Um, I really want another shot at it. So I'm gonna put this away and then I'm gonna put it here. So I'm gonna clean her. And then, um, so that's kind of, I haven't drawn much in the past couple weeks, but just because I've been, not feeling well. In response to all that, I decided to re uh, to do like a, a, sum a spring summer palette and got some, I've got some Karen Dash. So this is what I'm taking with me on the day. I love these. I tend to not get to these right away though, but I have this palette that I'm constantly using. So I can see the colors that I'm like, I'm like always in. And then I started to like figure out like, what do I have around the house that I could make into a palette? Cause I want a bigger palette. And from there I got, I found this Prismacolor, Prismacolor watercolor pencil case. So I like the size of it. I like that I could get a bigger mixing area out of this and Oops. And it's tin, so I think if I put a magnet in there, I, I can have all these little things stick to it. And so all these, all these are, are um, for art toolkits. I just buy these separately. These little pans, they're like five dollars. Seriously, go buy a bunch of them. <laughs> I think I bought too much, but um, I, yeah, I just buy those little pans and. I think what I want to do is build a bigger palette in here. Um, I did find another one. This is the Karen Dash. So this is what the little Karen Dash pencils come in. So if I want to do a littler palette, but with more colors, hear me out on that. I think that would be really cute. I'm definitely still going to use my art toolkits because I love it. I love her. Um, but yeah, I want to try, I want to try to modify this so that I can, so that I can, um, you know, take something bigger out. So let me take these out. So we got that. Let's give this a little wipe out. It's so funny. I was actually storing the rest of my Karen Dash pencils in here. I also have this. Um, palette from Charvin, which I could just, you know, be like, hey, this is my summer palette, but I don't know yet. I don't know about this one yet. I haven't really fiddled with it. So, and it's all watercolor. It's not gouache. Okay. So here's the, this is a, let's see, flexible adhesive magnetic sheets. Okay. Eight and a half by 11. And Logically, if one if it's sticking to want to that palette, it should stick to this sheet. Okay, let's just test it out real quick. <laughs> yeah, that's great. Yeah, 
Okay. <laughs> so we know that this will work. Now we just need to like, oh, <laughs> it sticks to that too. So I think we just need to cut it out. Exacto knife instead of this thing. Look at that. Okay. Let's do this. Oop. I'm sure there's a neater way to do this. Okay. Okay. I like that it's stuck to the bottom though. <laughs> that really helped with uh, cutting it all up and everything. Ooh, look at that. Perfection. make the edges a little bit better but that is really good that is really good okay now let's get it out I'm gonna make the edges a little bit I don't know how to put it in. Okay. All right, let's try. Not that I didn't expect it to work, but yeah. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> so I, need, I need to wash these two out. Oh, that's so good. I love it. I love it. And now if I wanted to, I could be like a whole thing for mixing right here in the pan. I want to go that route or what I'm actually going to do is fill this up and then do mixing here on this part that fits so perfectly I love it and just wow okay flexible adhesive magnetic sheets 
and a pencil case. Okay. All right. I'm excited about this. Let's see. The good thing about this palette was I was really, really able to get what I needed out of it. I have bought some more colors, so I think I'm going to swatch, try and swatch everything on this sheet. Um, and I think one of the things, if I'm looking for it, I'm looking for a few more variations. So, so probably this, so probably what's in this palette, plus a few more <coughs> bright colors or just a little bit more variation. I will say I, I pretty much have like, kind of like the basic sense of everything. All right, I just washed this brush, so it should be pretty good. All right, so let's start with these that are kind of one-offs. Interference Red. I feel like this would be really cute on black. Like, what if? Ooh. What if we just swatched a few things on black? That is very pretty. And then on the white, it just kind of comes through white. Yeah. But on black, it's a nice pink. That's pretty. I don't know when I'm going to use an interference color. I love interference colors, by the way, so. We'll put that one to the side in the I don't know section. Let's go with, so this is a Holbein, Holbein gouache. like the color. Oh, that's so pretty. I already like the color of it. Oh yeah, definitely gonna use this one. Put that on the black as well. That's very pretty. That's very pretty. And then I've got Quinacridone Rose by Michael Harding. Ooh, that's a good, I could see that for like, ooh, that's very pretty. Let's see. Ooh, that's luscious. That's luscious. On black, you can't really see it. That's okay. okay. how pretty that is in the pan. Oh, that's so nice. The pink and the um, iridescent are really drawing nicely on that. Okay. I actually found this at the, at, at uh, Tempera. At, no, Gouache Tempera. And this is called Rose, Rosa Sucuro, Deep Rose. Just give me anything rose pink, like just give, just, just give it, give it. <laughs> oh my gosh, look at that pink. Oh man, that's just delightful. You see that? It's just chef's kits. It's so pretty. Deep rose. And that was Royal Talents. The last one was D. Smith. Okay. I love this. So Charvin has a Caribbean pink. Let me share it. Oh, 
It's very flesh toned. It's very flesh colored. It's not very opaque. I think that's one of the reasons why these sat in the box for a while. On black, oh my God, on black, the Charvin really pops. Okay, this is Scarlet. So let's try Scarlet. The Charvin kind of acted like that interference a little bit. You know, I talked a little bit of smack about the Charvin and how it was kind of thin, but it's drying up really nicely. That may be one that you kind of like build. <laughs> okay, okay. Skew me. I, I, I spoke too soon. <laughs> this is one that I had in the rotation the last time around. So I'm not sure that I'm gonna have it again, just because I have so many other choices, but this is the Windsor Newton Primary Red. It's like, there we go. Ooh, I put a lot of water in that, so this might be thin. Ooh, I really like this color. I don't know. So that one's a maybe. I'm gonna see how they all dry and then I'll make a I'll make a choice. The so Daniel Smith Magenta. Yes. It's doing things. It's doing exciting things. So this is now Linder Newton Spectrum Red. So let's try that one out. Not as much water this time. I may not use that one. Because I feel like the quinacridone uh, rose is like, look how much stronger it is than the uh, Spectrum Red. So maybe that's a no. Okay, let's jump into Yellow Land. Oh, I hate to say goodbye. Goodbye. All right, let me clean my water and then we'll jump into Yellow Land. Be right back. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Too much came out of there. It's all the squeezing. So here we go. A very squeezed, <laughs> a very, very squeezed vermilion. This is by Hard Horadom, Horadom Aquarel. Let's do that one. Maybe this should be in the yellow section, but. Did I have that before? I feel like that's that color, yeah. Yeah, it's trending orange, but a really pretty orange. Let's see how it looks on black. Oh, that shows up really well. All right, that was my reds. Let's switch to yellows. And then, so let me clean my water. Palette. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's look at our creations light yellow. I've got a good. Now this one was kind of separated from the medium a little bit, so maybe it's 
That's why it's coming across as being thicker. There we go. Let's see. But I do like it. I do like it. I do. And, and I do have kind of the intention to have a lot of yellow on my palette because the colors that I'm getting when I'm out drawing or painting or whatever is get, it's kind of very lime green. <laughs> Lemon yellow. So warm yellow, cool yellow. I didn't put any of this one in here, so let's see what that looks like. Ooh, fancy. So this one I'm on the fence about because it was yellow deep. It was a good color, but it was very like loose. It uh, kind of just melted most of the time. There we go. Yellow deep. I like this color. But it didn't, it kind of in the palette, it became very like loose. I mean, I like it. I like it so much. So this is the Art creation Jello Ochre. Really nice out of the bottle. I don't usually swatch on black, but let's try it. <laughs> Art Creations Burnt Umber. Which we love. I think it's my only burnt umber. So now we have a fight <laughs> between burnt sienna, burnt sienna, and burnt sienna. <laughs> so, so these are the three burnt siennas we're gonna try out. One is Utrecht, one is um, Art Royal Talons, or Art Creation, and the last one is this Haradam Aquarel. Come on, mouth. All right, let's put them all down. See which one we like best. Come on. So this is the Aquarelle. Oh, it's a little like rust colored. I kind of like the rust. Kind of rusty Utrecht burnt sienna. Ooh, it's more brown than red. Less, less. Wow, that is a totally different color. I love both of these. <laughs> okay, and let's go for the last burnt sienna. So the Utrecht I have to kind of shake up. The other one's a little, the formula is a little thicker. That's very close to the Utrecht. Just on the pan, it's very close. It's very, it's skewing a little orange. Let's see. Yeah, skewing a little like orangier. I dare say that's three different colors. That's gonna be a hard choice. I'm gonna wait for them to dry and then we'll make a final choice on the burnt sienas. So this is Charvin Vermilion. <laughs> so Vermilion, that one here. So there's the Vermilion from Charvin. Very orange. Theirs is very orange. Okay. Let's go with. I 
I'm gonna, I, I feel like I should retract what I said earlier about the short bend not having much like opacity. Cause with the, with the, with the, uh, the pink, Car Caribbean pink, it really dried beautifully. It dried so nice. So let's go with these, these, uh, the yellower ones. So this is a primary yellow from Charvin. Okay. That one didn't spooge out of the bottle. That's fine. Ooh, I got a little, I'm trying to chase it away. There we go, primary yellow. That's, that's quite lovely. I really like that. I need to clean my, there we go. Okay. Okay. All right, everything um, ran out of power all at the same time. So it's been a few hours. <laughs> Just letting everything charge back up again. The good thing is that we can kind of see the colors all dry already. But this is yellow ochre, so good. It'll be right beneath a yellow ochre. So that and I'm gonna do these four real quick. This is the raw sienna by Char Red ochre, which I don't think I have anywhere on this board. So, there we go. That should be fun, the red ochre. And then last of the, what I call the yellows, is a sepia, which is now going into that kind of burnt umber territory, I think. So this is the yellow ochre. It's very close to the, they're very close. I wanna see how this dries down though. But that looks, that looks pretty good. Let's go straight into raw sienna. Did I have a raw Santa anywhere here? That is what it said. It's looking like a lighter burnt Santa, which is fine. Ooh, I like this even in the pan. That's very pretty. And then sepia. I feel like next fall palette, this is definitely going to the fall palette. For summer, spring, summer, I'm not sure. Let me closer. Those are really nice. I like them a lot. Light blue by Art Creations. So this is this is the the first one, the light blue, which is actually not as it's a little darker than the Okay. Let's see the next one. Azure blue. Sure, if things come out kind of translucent, but but when you actually use it, it does dry well. It dries super well. And then this one is the cobalt blue. Cobalt blue. Oh. And last but not least, ultramarine, which is. It's a little lighter. 
rut row. I love those. Okay, and now for some green. This first one is deep green. Cobalt turquoise first. Okay. That's a nice kind of a blue green. Carbon phthalo viridian. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Even in the pan, it looks, that's deep green. It looks a lot less deep than the phthalo. Viridian. There we go. This is permanent green. Yeah, it's a little bit of a more evenly green, you know, like more, like literally half and half. yellow and blue. I think I'm going to put that on a palette. So now we've got our greens, we've got our blues. Greens came out okay. I do have like some guest stars and these are just all gray. <laughs> They're basically just different versions of gray. These are actually the Michael Harding watercolors and um, oh there's that titanium white. So these are the Michael Harding watercolors. It's, this is like the whole pack of them. And they're all just kind of versions of gray. <laughs> so I really like them. I am going to use them. Um, the only thing I would say, having, having had the chance to use them in this other palette, uh, in this palette, did I get, no. Having had to use them in this palette, the, um, the Payne's gray, is very sticky and sloppy it just it goes kind of it's kind of like that other color it kind of goes soft so i do have another Payne's gray so maybe we'll just compare those two let's get into this there we go oh, that's still got a little green in it Titanium buff. And then we've got the neutral gray. I love a neutral gray. Like don't get like love tint. Oh, look at that, that's very thick. Like, it's not going anywhere. And it's also very slippery, this one feels very like, woo! <laughs> it feels very slippery. And then last but not least, paint gray, which is, or, kind of my favorite. It's kind of a favorite. I love the paint gray. So that's this one, QOR. It's a watercolor. Ooh, that's a very like thick and sturdy formula. Then Mars Black by Charvin. Is the paint's gray? Oh, oh! Did you see that? I might be giving this paint's gray a shot because I really like the coverage. But look how that came in! Super nice. Okay, let's go for Mars Black. Oh, wow, look at that. It's not even really black. It's more of like a, 
almost like a sepia, almost like a burnt umber. Let's try it. That is very like brown all. And then last but not least, just ivory black. torn now I'm torn you know what I'm not torn this uh, QR paints gray it's kind of winning hey everybody this is editing cherish I have split this video into two parts because it's very very long but I feel like the information is good so I want to just I want to share as much as I can so I'm loading, I've loaded this video up. You're able to watch it. The second video is coming super fast right after. I'm not even gonna wait like a week or whatever. I'm just gonna go ahead and load it up and then I hope you enjoy the whole thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day. Bye.